So Arling, uh, why do you think some people suffer with mental health issues? It can be the deep-rooted childhood traumas, types of abuse someone might have suffered. It could be something, um, just stressful situations that someone's going through at a time, a bereavement, you know, you lost your granny, your grandpa, whatever. It might be a loss of a job, um, might be a breakup of a relationship, something like that. So lots of different things. And I guess in terms of you as a player, it could be long-term injury, or weight in the anticipation and anxiety that might be raised from renewing contracts and things like that. Uh, obviously men aren't immune to mental health issues and so why do you not think that they come out and talk about it more? I think it's that traditional masculine um, sort of gender role that you feel or men feel that they should be strong and in control of everything and, and that if they speak out, again as I said before, it makes them feel like they're weak and I think that's why. What can we do to combat the stigma? The more we educate ourselves, the more we educate everybody around about us and we raise awareness of um, it's okay, the physical health and mental health, let's treat them equally because each will have an impact on the other. So by making it okay to talk and destigmatizing it. And if somebody does start to stigmatize it, let's challenge them. See, actually, you can't talk like that. And the other big one for me is if someone does speak up, show some compassion. And I think if we show compassion, people will then think, actually, that was good. I'm glad I spoke up. What are some of the signs that we might not notice in someone struggling? Disinterested, disconnected, taking themselves away from things, being a little bit withdrawn, being sad, tearful upset, um, worrying about things more than usual, or even worrying about things that you've perhaps never worried about before, you know? But I think what's important about that, Chris, is that we can all be a bit sad or have a down day, but actually, if it's gone on for a wee while, it's been a bit prolonged, um, or it's something out with somebody's character. It's not their normal behavior. You've just think to yourself, they've changed recently. And I think it's about recognising those things. We talk about guys speaking up. How difficult would you find um, it, it to ask for some, some help if you felt you were struggling, if you're going through a wee bit of a tough time, how difficult is it for you to speak up? I think it is difficult, obviously. I feel like when you do have them problems at the start, it's like you don't want to speak out about it because it's like maybe sometimes you feel like it would affect your ego and stuff like that a wee bit. but. Uh, I feel like as you get down the line and stuff and then if you have someone who you're really comfortable that you feel that you could speak to and that it will be private and stuff, I feel like it would make it a lot easier. So That's the important thing for me there is, but you would speak to someone, but it's about the relationships in the first place. I'd 100% uh, come out and speak about it, but obviously, like I said, that I feel like I have people that I have that relationship with that I could speak to, so it makes it a lot easier for me. If you notice one of your friends or one of your teammates was struggling just a little bit, how comfortable would you be in saying to one of them, hey, I've noticed you're not yourself. How comfortable would you be in having that difficult conversation? Uh, I think it would be tough depending on who you're talking to. Like if it was one of my really, really close friends, I think it would be easier that I could have that serious conversation about it. But maybe if it was someone that I'm still friends with, but maybe like not my bestest mate, I would think maybe going speaking to one of the coaches about it maybe and saying, look, I think such and such is maybe going through a bit of a tough time where he doesn't seem himself and then maybe they might find it easier to have that serious conversation with them so that's probably how I would approach it. That's equally as good because you've noticed but then you're sharing that with somebody that perhaps has the skills to be able to, to have that wider uncomfortable conversation.